as you guys know valentine's day is around the corner today i'm going to be showing you how to achieve this bronzy kind of glowy valentine's day look if you want to see how i achieve this look please continue watching If you are in need of eyebrow tutorial and you feel like you're still kind of struggling with your brows then please you know check my channel I have about three eyebrow tutorials on there I'm gonna use this Embryolisse uh, late cream it's in French so I can't really pronounce it but it's Embryolisse anyway it's, it's a for all skin types moisturizer makeup primer and I also a moisturizing mask I find that if I want kind of like a nice tacky base for my um, you know foundation that this is always good to use so I'm just going to apply that the foundation today i'm going to be using my nars natural radiant long wear foundation honestly it's one of my favorite foundations and it's also really good for all skin types as well and i use the shade new caledonia by the way that's my shade and this is one of the very few foundations that i feel like matches me really really well I always find that with some other foundations, even if it's a decent match, there's always something that's a little bit off about it, but I actually quite like the match of this foundation. I think it matches me well. Okay, so foundation applied, and you can always go in with your beauty blender afterwards as well if you want to kind of it blend further, but for me, I think the brush has done the job. Today I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Um, Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is their satin finish. They have a matte finish one as well, but this is the satin finish one and it's in the shade Deep Olive. I'm gonna be applying it to the, you know, the usual areas. You guys have seen this a million, million times, I'm sure. I actually have a question, like, do you guys still enjoy watching makeup tutorials for real, for real? Like, or is it more to do with just like, you enjoy watching your favorite like YouTubers and YouTuber or content creator. Is it more to do with the person who's doing the makeup or is it genuinely like you're still trying to learn or is it a bit of both? Do people still watch tutorials like a long like 10 minute, 15 minute tutorial where they're really trying to learn? Like, you know, but yeah, let me know in the comments guys because I, I actually genuinely want to know. I think I mentioned in my last video that I do, yeah, just really like applying like my products with the brushes now. Like I kind of don't reach for my beauty blender that much anymore and you just want to focus on kind of this part of your of your face just to really give you that kind of shape and structure so now i'll be taking that same concealer but i'll be using the shade tan sand just in the kind of inner corner of my eyes just to give me a brighter under eye so i'm just applying a little in the inner corners and i'm going to just blend that out i like to use what's left on my brush for my chin my forehead and then like my nose. So to contour my nose, I'm gonna be using this MUA uh, Pro Base Foundation Stick, shade 190. I think it might be the darkest one, so I'm just gonna use it just to shape up my nose. So to set my highlighted areas, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So what I like to do is first of all, apply a first layer and just melt that into my skin really like press that puff into my skin and make sure that powder is melting in and then I just like to go with the second layer on top and of course just setting the other areas like so so I don't know if it's just me but my nose gets irritated and runs every time I do makeup but I think it's to do with the powder like I'm quite certain once I get to the powder stage it gets up my nose I don't know if anyone else has that issue anyway as you can see I've moved you closer so that we can do the eyes it's going to be very very kind of like a simple brown neutral bronze eye well that's what I'm going to attempt today anyway to prime my eyelids I'm going to be using some concealer this is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade golden just use any concealer that you have honestly like concealer works any concealer works perfectly fine you want it to be a little bit lighter of course just to give you a nice base and so any kind of colors you use can show up nicely setting with some setting powder of recent I really really like small eyeshadow palette and also palettes that like I can just use like one palette like I think there was a time where you know as makeup artists we can go into like literally four five six palettes 
just to get the look now don't get me wrong there's still sometimes you might need to do that you might need to go into one or two because some palettes obviously don't accommodate everything especially if you need a mixture of neutrals and colors sometimes you need to jump into two which is fair enough but honestly i'm just at the point where it's like please one eyeshadow palette it's just easier and obviously for you guys as well when we do tutorials it's just better for you guys to know that okay it's just from one palette so i was just shopping the other day and and i picked this one up because i was quite drawn to the colors warm tones bronzy kind of tone it's from revolution and it's called the ultimate desire palette and it's called into the bronze so essentially what i'm trying to do today i think what i'm going to do is just essentially build up from obviously the light to the deeper shade into the crease and then we'll use some of the uh like the shimmer you know golden bronzy shades on the lid you know just essentially just keep it very simple and blend it so i'm just taking one of the lighter brown shades and just blending that above my crease and slightly into my crease Now I'm just taking that deeper, really deep, rich brown colour into the crease. I'm just kind of going back and forth. And of course, just going back with that first brown shade I used and just making sure that's blended together nicely. They don't blend as smoothly as I would like, but you know, it's it's okay. It's doing all right. Now I'm taking that bronze kind of shimmer shade in the palette, applying that all over the lid, and kind of bringing it upwards as well. So I'm taking that crease brush that I used earlier and just blending out any harsh lines in the crease so I'm just applying a small eyeliner wing these days I like my eyeliner to stop halfway it just gives you more of a snatch kind of look at the edges so I've just applied some lashes off camera to set my face I'm going to be using my morphe filter effect finishing powder this is in shade filter 14 and then I'll use filter 15 to contour and bronze Just taking my powder brush and just blending everything together. My NARS blush here in Exhibit A. I actually saw a lot of uh, content creators using this on TikTok actually, which is what um, made me buy it. <laughs> Be very gentle with this blush if you use it. I didn't realise how pigmented it was the first day I used it and I definitely used way too much. <laughs> You can already see it as well, like, you know, it's very blendable, which is good, but super, super pigmented. So you definitely want to be careful. But if you love a lot of blush, then obviously that's cool as well. I use my airbrush uh, setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm using this Glide On lip liner from, I think it's from LA Girl. I think it's from Alien Girl. They have really, really good pigmented pencils. NYX lip liner, uh, Line Loud lip liner in the shade uh, Rebel Kind. So I'm just going to apply that as well. I'm applying this NYX um, lip matte lip cream in the shade, I think it's Abu Dhabi. So. Yeah, I think that's fine for now. I'll probably add a clear gloss on top of that after. I didn't put any eyeliner in my waterline today. I wanted to leave my under eye as is, but just have a, a good coat of mascara on my bottom lashes. So almost at the end of the tutorial, guys. Almost there. So yeah, I'm liking how the look is looking so far. I added a clear lip gloss to my lips off camera. So we're just going to finish up now with some bronzer. I'm going to go in with Morphe, this Morphe bronzer. Um, it's called Highlighter Illuminator in the shade Mirage. Now mine is broken, so I can't really show you. 
okay but i really really love this it's like that perfect bronze shade i'm actually not a super highlighter highlight per highlighter person anymore i think that kind of that highlighter face has kind of gone down but i definitely do still like to apply it to like my brow bone um and like my um like the bottom nose kind of thing but today i'm actually going to apply some to like the high points of my cheek and i'm just going to apply start applying gently okay and just working my way up I love this highlight art because it's not like it doesn't give like too much. Give myself a little button nose. So just applying some to my collarbone as well because you know why not. Lastly, I'm gonna take my NW50 powder for no NC50 sorry powder from Mac and just press that underneath my under my eyes to brighten my eyes a bit. So to gently press. That under my eyes just to give my under eye a bit more brightness just a little bit Valentine's Day call me, hey, where's your girlfriend? You are sitting at home, lonely.